I hope everybody is enjoying their Labor Day weekend. So I'm sitting in the truck right now. Virgil has run into the library. He's got some books that he wants to donate. Just get out of the house to free up some space. But he's running there real quick. What is he doing? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, I'm so full. Now we are headed to Murphy Dome and the sun is out so again I'm hoping to be able to see some fall foliage. cool though so there's different um birds out here there's canadian geese yeah. and um these sandhill cranes and it looks like they kind of agitate each other a little bit like the geese will fly in in their flock and try to find a spot to land and it seems to agitate the sandhill cranes a little bit but very cool to see this many birds in one spot it's promising that they're here right now it means that it's not quite winter yet yeah i think they do leave i think that we have read that or seen that somewhere that they do leave once the winter is about to hit so they're still here that's good back there is part of the university of alaska for reference this is where we are we're kind of across the street a little bit from the university of alaska fairbanks first of alaska fairbanks a little bit of an unexpected but nice surprise. <laughs> we weren't expecting to see the sandhill cranes on this little jaunt up to Murphy Dome, but really glad we did. I've been out here before blueberry picking, but this is Virgil's first time. What do you think, my love? It's beautiful out here. You can see for miles and miles up here. You really can. And the blues are so blue. Like the hills have a bluish green color to them. Mm -hmm. And they're just such a pretty color. It's so worth it coming up here. It's like this might be a popular little camping spot and I could definitely see why. Looks like people might have fires here. So that back there in the distance are snow-capped mountains that are part of the Alaska Range. It's not clouds, it's snow-capped mountains. <laughs> I still see you. I'm glad we decided to stop off here. The musk oxes or musk ox are um, out wandering around. We are at the um, Large Animal Research Station, I believe is what this is called, LARS for short. It is an extension of the University of Alaska Fairbanks and they basically study musk ox. They have like a reindeer research center. If you can see, they're kind of, whoops, walking around back behind me. Gosh, how do meteorologists do this? <laughs> Boy, look, I can't figure it out. I cannot. There. Okay. Back in there. I'm, oh my gosh. I'm just amusing myself basically at this point, trying to figure out how 
meteorologists do it, but I'm trying to circle the muskox. Um, this is our second time coming here, and um, both times there have been two muskox right here. They do offer free tours. We haven't done that yet because both times that we've been here, there have been these muskox um, right here at the fence, and you can just pull in and observe them on your own, and so that's what we've done so far. I am trading out my little scent warmers today. I have had the, let me see if I can get it to focus, the vanilla cookie crunch scent in all three of my little scent warmers that I've had spread around the house. But since it's fall, I'm gonna change it out for the mold, let's see if I can get it to focus, the mold cider and the simmering apple cider. That is Virgil's foam face. <laughs> His face he makes when he has to touch the foam in the dog beds. But look at this face. And look at that face. Oh, there's your bed. There's your bed, Sash. Are you smiling? You're a happy girl. Go get your bed. Fresh, clean bed. What do you think, buddy? It's 11.20 p.m. and we are out chasing the auroras. So we're out chasing the auroras. We're trying to find the perfect spot to be able to see them. But look how beautiful this three-quarter moon is. It's not really helping in the hunt for the auroras because it's lighting up the sky, but it's so pretty on its own. How about what do you think so far? They're beautiful. I really, the the colors that the camera captures uh, are beautiful. And so it's, it's definitely neat. It looks like a, a smoky wisp yeah. in the sky. And then when you take the picture of it, you really get to see the, the, the colors. Brightness, yeah. So the brightness of it. It's neat. You've seen your first aurora. Feeling a bit like the abdominable. <laughs> abdominable. Abominable. I can't say that word. Abominable. Am I saying it right? I think so. Abominable snowman. So, this has been exciting. Virgil finally got to see his first aurora and we got to see them together for the first time. That was awesome. So, auroras are definitely wispy um, like Virgil was saying earlier how they turn out in on film and on camera is way brighter and way more intense than they actually are with the naked eye um, and so that's just something that you know you kind of have to learn after seeing them the first time you got to know what you're looking for because if you are looking at the sky and expecting to see huge super bright green lights that's not really the case they're a little bit more faint and wispy but um i hope you're going to enjoy the video or the pictures that i'm going to insert of what we saw and the super most amazing thing was virgil asked to hold the camera and to be honest i did not want to give it up because i wanted to take pictures myself but i was a good wife and i let him um use the camera and the moment he snapped his first picture he actually caught a shooting star so uh, I think that was God smiling at me like good job Melissa. that was that was a good wife move so anyway <laughs> it's 12 10 in the morning we're going home we have watched the auroras had a wonderful time but now it is time to get some sleep see you next time